fast food prices of the past? Glad you asked. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. The last time we played the game we're about to play, we learned that back in the day, fast food was very, very cheap. Mm -hmm. And we also learned that Rhett can do complicated math using only a faraway look in his eye and sometimes a calculator. That's true. And we also learned that you prefer to employ a game strategy based on feeling the vibes rather than any kind of basic logic. Yeah. And today we're bringing back the game all about the crazy differences between the fast food prices of today and back in the day. It's time for Inflation Tasting. More inflation, more tasting edition. Welcome to the Inflation Taste Inflation, uh, Taste in Inflation Station. Inflation, inflation Taste Inflation Station, station Zone. zone. <laughs> You got it. Okay, boys, here's how today's game's gonna work. Over a series of rounds, you'll work together to guess how many fast food items you could buy in a given year for a specific amount of money. Yes. And you'll do so using our trusty scale, AKA the inflation station, manned by Chase the Bailiff. Why are you a bailiff? I help the, the if it's chaotic, then I order. Scales of justice? Scales of justice. Are Scales you a bailiff justice. Yeah. in your second job? No, I used to lifeguard. Okay. That's all right. Can you dress We've as a lost the plot, next Stevie. Time? <laughs> Each round, you'll have three attempts to balance the scale. If you can answer a trivia question about that year, if not, you'll only have two attempts. Points decrease with each attempt. You need to finish with at least six points to win the chance to stab and pop that giant inflatable burger you had to blow up as a punishment last time we played and you lost. Whoa, 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 whoa. I spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> like I did 99% of the work and now we get to blo yes! explode it. Yes. You do not get to explode it, no matter what happens. You do not get to decide. <laughs> Okay, here's your first question for that extra attempt. Which album did Bruce Springsteen release in 1975? Was it A, Born to Run? I was going to say Born to Run. That's what B, I was going to say. Born in the USA? Oh, he's been born yeah. twice? Or yeah, he, C, He's being reborn, man. Darkness on the Edge of Town. Uh, born in the USA, not 75. A, I don't know the boss, man. So, Born in the USA is, even though people sing it thinking it's a pa patriotic song, it's actually like a little bit of an indictment on U.S. foreign policy as it relates to the Vietnam War, which would have been ending, obviously, like at the end of the 60s. So Born in the USA, 75, but I think it was like Born to Run. Let's go with Born to Run. That was the first thing that came into my mind. I'm gonna, we're going to go with A, Born to Run. The answer is... A, yeah, to run. Yeah, right. So you get that third attempt. Go ahead and uncover your food for the round. When do we have pizza time? Pizza Hut. 2023, a large, thin and crispy extravaganza pizza, which is Pizza Hut's current supreme, cost $19.99. Feed me. But back in 1975, how many could you get for $20? I didn't want to eat any of that. I could tell. Why are you so resistant, man? Well, it's a little too <laughs> early for hot pizza. It's not even that hot. Just take a little bite. Come on. Be a team player. <laughs> yeah, you're under oath. I can't do it. No. It's a little too early for hot pizza. <laughs> it's not hot. It's lukewarm. <laughs> okay. Feed me. He said. <laughs> Feed me. Stevie, um... Do you I need to repeat what I, I, I said? $20. How I much, had a feeling. How many pizzas can you get for $20 in 1975? Yeah, but how much is it now? Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, well, uh, I have an idea. And Since you're not being a team player today, and you wouldn't bite the pizza, I already had an idea that would be consistent with that. I think you go complete feel, I go complete math, and we see where we meet in the middle. Okay. So we don't work together at all until the end. Okay. All right. So. In fact, I'm turning away from you. <laughs> it's 1975. I got twenty dollars in my pocket, and I want to get as many pieces as I can. How many do I think off the top of my head? Doing no math. Oh, I would say. I did the math in my head because it's not that hard. And I came up with I'm gonna five. I'm going to say four. Oh, is it $5 five? pizza? Four. You're right. Four. Yes. Because $5 pizza is like, um, you can get, well you, you can, well, you can get that now. So you're saying that's what you, well, you're saying it's like Little Caesars? Back then, yeah. We can yeah. always add one more pizza. Yep. Oh, and leave it on the it tray because the they zeroed it with the tray. So it's got to be either four or five, right? 
All right, so he's going with my gut instinct here. Bailiff, you got a lock on that thing so it doesn't actually move until you pull it? Yeah, it helps with my scales of justice. Ah. I'm a bailiff. Okay. All right. It's gonna drop like a rock on our side. Oh. Justice. <laughs> hey, we can get this though. We take one or two pizzas off. I think we gotta remove two. I think you think they were ten dollar pizzas? Well, I think I'm you might be right. I'm just looking at the scale. I mean, so go, go out there and remove two. We have a third chance. I mean, points are decreasing, but so Chase, I think you need to relock it. Relocking the justice. There you go. And I won't cheat. I'm not gonna like take one off and see how it feels. I have, we have to make a commitment. So I'm taking two off. All right. Ten dollar. I'm disappointed pizzas. if they're ten dollar pizzas though. Release the hound. Court reporter. <laughs> I think I think uh, I think we need to add one pizza, Rhett. You know what? I, you know, but my gut instinct was, uh, you know, was good. Air on the side of that. If this doesn't work, then physics don't exist. Do physics exist? The judge says. Yes, we we did get at least a point. You can't. You got a point. Us. In 1975, a large, thin, and crispy supreme pizza cost just five seventy. Five seventy. That was the problem. The seventy. Oh yeah. Ish. Wow. Seventy. In 1965, which eventual U.S. senator appeared as a contestant on Jeopardy? Oh, huh. U.S. senator, eventual. <laughs> was it A. Bernie Sanders? <laughs> Could have been him. He was definitely around. B, Mitt Romney. Mitt or Romney. C, he John McCain. John McCain was definitely around. <sighs> Mitt Romney, I don't believe he would have been old enough. But I could see him on Jeopardy. Could I see... Bernie Sanders! Is that some Bernie Sanders? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm on... What, what is... Uh, uh, That's how he plays Jeopardy. Uh, <laughs> like Bernie wrestling. Sanders was like... He was known to like do uh -huh. some like subversive things <laughs> and like do some things that like draw attention to the, his causes and stuff. I feel like John McCain was too serious. <laughs> so you talk, you, you, know. you think. Um, Here's the other thing though. Don't you feel like we would have seen a bunch of clips of him on Jeopardy? We would have seen clips of all these people and I don't remember any I think we would have seen the least number of clips of John McCain on Jeopardy. Bernie Sanders, man. All right, we're gonna feel the burn on this one. The answer is C, John Dang McCain. It, C. <laughs> Do we have a clip? No, but yeah. that only means you get two attempts you see, this round. It doesn't exist. Was he a hostage at the time? <laughs> it's like, um, did they like, did they have a remote feed? Too soon, Link. Please, please go ahead and reveal the food item for this round. Oh, Subway sandwiches. And how many dollars are we working with here in 1965? Well, in 2023, a foot-long cold cut combo costs $9.99. Really? But in 1965, how many 12-inch mixed cold cut subs could you get for $10? Is it too early for a cold sub? Yeah. Yeah. You just don't eat? Is that, <laughs> is that it? I've already eaten. Well, so have I. So, <laughs> you, don't use your Muppet voice with me. <laughs> Um, you said how many for $10 in 1965? Hey, mm -hmm. I'm bopping around in 1965 and I'm whopping, went in jeopardy with John McCain. And I have $10 in my pocket and actually it's just a lens wipe. $10. I think in 1965, I didn't know Subway existed. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say 10 and I accidentally did math that they're a dollar a piece. Okay, I How said six, say? 16, so you want to take the average? 13. So you, okay, yep. So you think... I thought they were a little bit less like than 60 cents a 60 piece. 60 cents a piece, okay. You just thought you were walking around 1975. 65 with a, with ten, with a dollar a piece. It, this is very heavy. Yeah, it's very But heavy. I don't know how heavy that box is. Again, I'm, I'm not going to get any clues when I come over here. I'm just going to let go. You don't know what's happening. <laughs> you have no idea. It's definitely shaking, man. I'm shaking in a quake. We don't know which one's heavier, but I guarantee you ours is. <laughs> Ready? Yep. 
Something else about the justice system. <laughs> Whoa, wait, wait, hey, 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 I think I may have been right. You were definitely right, dude. Okay, so put it back up. Let's put three on there. All right, so we're Let's just going to go with your answer. Okay, this is, this is your last, yeah, that's last right. thing. Kids, math wins today. <laughs> it's not about your feelings, children. Order? If you're gonna your feelings are unreliable. Hey, gonna, do not trust them. If you're going to do that, you have to Look. use your Muppet voice. Your feelings are unreliable. <laughs> <laughs> Math wins today. Yay. No, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Math. 12, 11. We were only one off? Yeah, you originally guessed... 13. Oh, it was 14. The answer is 14. I don't I don't think math d does win. Math don't win today. Win today. Um, Your feelings are important. Your feelings are important, children. So in 1965, a Subway, or at the time it was called Pete's, cold cut sub costs oh. 69 cents. You didn't tell us that, Stevie. <laughs> Pete's. Oh, yeah, Pete overcharging. That's a deal, I think. As you might know, every month we release a limited edition pin of the month. And the one that's coming out on Monday is the Cotton Candy Mermandy pin. Again, this is going to be available on Monday for 24 hours only at mythical.com. You can get it while the getting's good and then it's gone forever. It's a collectible. <laughs> Quiz us. In 1959, which iconic live-action TV show made its debut? Gunsmoke. Captain A, Kangaroo. Batman. Oh. B, The Twilight Zone. Oh. Or C, Star Trek. I think It, it of, could be any of these. Ugh, I think I mean, of Batman, Batman and was Star Trek in the 60s, 60s. But did they start in the 59s? Uh, Star Trek did not have a lot of seasons. The Twilight Zone is older than 1959. Think about think about what it looks. The old episodes of the of Twilight Zone yeah. are so rainy. Like, it's Batman, right? Is that what you're saying? I think it's Batman. Da -da 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 -da! Batman. The answer is B. The no, Twilight it's not. Zone. I don't believe for you. Real? Yeah, for real. So we didn't get an extra guess, but we don't need it because we We're good. We have instincts and math. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reveal your item. Sonic? Corn doggies? Oh. Today, Sonic's corn dog costs $1.99, but in 1959, if, how many corn dogs could you get for $5? If you're not going to bite it, you have to take it all the way in, okay? Oh, mm -mm. If you're going to, you have to make it disappear. Everything but the stick. If you're not going to bite it, that's your punishment. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey man, I'm sorry. Five dollars, 1959. Last time, our strategy almost worked. <laughs> Facts and feelings came together and we were one off. So if we take that formula forward, facts and feelings plus one. The average of facts and feelings together plus one is our answer. Okay. It's 1959. Look at me bopping down the sidewalk in my black and white outfit. I have $5 to my name, and I am spending it at Sonic, which I didn't know existed back then. Corn dog. 1959. $5 is a lot of money. I'm treating everybody who's at the Sonic. Uh, I'm gonna say 20. I said 17. Okay. The so average between those is 17 18 and, and a half. half. No, yeah, 18, 18 and a half. 18 and a half plus, plus one. one is 19 and a half, which is 20, which doesn't make sense. So we make it 19. We know that. That'll be 19. That'll be 19. It only 19. works. We can't round up to one of the guesses because then that doesn't let the other guess have any influence. Right. Okay, so 19. You just count. I'll count 10. 5, 4, 5, 17, 18. What did we say? 19? Uh, 19. Because you said 20, right? I said 20. Oh, oh, uh, 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 order. Yeah, order. <laughs> Did you come to a unanimous uh, jury No, we used jury a formula. Thing? We used our jurisprudence. Yes. Come on, even out, baby. Mm. Even out. Give it a little, give it a little nudge up. 
That's not how the system works. Just nudge it up. Hold on. Okay. I think maybe we should have just gone with the formula and, and rounded up to 20. I think you were right. <laughs> unless that, unless it, is that? I don't know the answers. I just say like order and a, appellate court. Come on now. Well, just throw I'm, one on there. Lock it up. We're throwing one on there. Uh, let the record show that technically uh, feelings won, but in some weird world, our formula also technically won. I don't really understand how that works. If this works. All right. <laughs> feelings win! Trust your feelings, kids! Trust yeah. your feelings, kids! The, the answer is 20, because in 1959, a corn dog on a stick costs 25 cents. 25 cents. And I did no math to figure that out. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that. I yeah. did only feelings. Right. I expended only my feeling powers. We can't win, which makes me feel bad. <laughs> Again, the winner is feelings. I love how he turned a game about inflation to a game about math versus feelings. <laughs> but we feel bad. and I feel like we're doing well, but I still feel bad because we're losing. Well, Why just, are we losing? Let's just see what we've learned and see if we can apply that as losers, because that's what makes us winners. Yeah, if you get this trivia question wrong, you're gonna feel worse. To be clear, Gosh, which iconic office supply item was invented in 1956? A, the stapler. I was thinking stapler, but you were just because it's iconic. Yeah. Whiteout. Whiteout. Or oh, there's no H in whiteout. C. <laughs> whiteout. Post its. Stapler feels too. Oh, it's got to be before 56. People spin yeah. stapling things. Yeah. But how? When? When would they have figured? Post-it Post note notes feels like a little later. Feels like a '60s, yeah. like after the space race. Right. We are going with B. White out. White out. The answer is B. Yeah! White out. I feel good. That's right, math. How much money do we have to spend? Reveal your item. Some Burger King fries. Yep, a small side of Burger King fries costs $3.99 today, but in 1956, how many orders of fries could you get for $2? 1956. That's not a lot of money. Uh, I don't think I need to do math on this. Oh, I don't think I need to feel. No, no, feel, keep feeling. Okay, because that's what's Actually, happening. Actually, hold on. I, there's a different way here. It's 1956, and I'm walking on the sidewalk with my $2. And I'm gonna buy some fries for everybody, or as far as it will stretch. I'm gonna stretch my money in 1956. This is gonna be tough, and I'll tell you why once I hear your felt answer. Oh, uh, man. Six. What? Good number. Okay, Link, let's think about this for a second. I didn't think at all, I just all right. felt. Yeah, so it's, uh, just a moment ago, we were pricing out 1959 corn dogs. Yeah, and they were that, 25 cents. And they were 25 cents, cents a piece. So, that so you just eight. said that these were 33 cents a piece for a thing of fries. I think the fries were 15 cents a piece, which would be there was 13. All right, 10. So, you, so, you, so now we're basically saying that we think there were 20 cents a piece, which sounds kind of reasonable. So 13 and six together is 19. We're gonna take the half and we're gonna round up. You're right, 10, okay. Eight, nine. 10. So we're saying that they cost 20 cents. So five cents less than a corn dog. That feels reasonable. But you don't need to be doing the feeling. That's, that's for me. Release it! This time it's stuck a little bit. <laughs> Is that a good sign or a bad sign? <laughs> I don't know. You can't even get it, you can't get, even release it. That probably means it's not balanced. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> well, all right. Hold on. I was feeling, here's the thing. I think feelings are right because before I did the math, I was feeling 10 cent fries, 10 cent fries, 10 cent fries, which would be 12. Oh. I was feeling it, but I didn't want to say it because I wanted to do math. So I'm going to get. I, got, I have five. If you would bring five as well. All right. Release the Kraken. Quicker. <laughs> yeah! Ten cent fries! Ten cent fries! Ten cent fries. And I actually don't know how to feel right now. Yeah, because we I lost, either, man. Because I then, didn't even rely on math. Then I lost my feeling, and you started feeling. And we need to see our, our feelings and our facts are all mixed up. Mm. Well, okay, so you didn't win, but here's the the giant burger inflatable Wait, thing. And I and remember. I feel like 
you can have this in Good Mythical More, and whatever you feel in Good Mythical More, you can do. Too. I don't feel like we deserve it. We we didn't, we're not going to pop it. Okay, if that's win. your feeling, Chase, take it away. Please don't let them touch it, and and don't Order. let them see it. It makes me feel bad. Just Close your you eyes. Hold it. Blind justice. Goodbye. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Dr. Janice, and this is my sociology class. And I promised them that I would give them extra credit on their final exam if they said, It's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Bye. <laughs> extra credit, yeah, y'all deserve ever. all the credit. Click the top link to watch us discover how much money expensive historical items would cost today in Good Mythical Morning. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Mythical Beast Assemble, June's pin of the month is releasing this Monday and you only have 24 hours to get it at mythical.com.